gentlemen, welcome to MCW Rage TV. I am Mark Ray. Alongside me, as always, my broadcast colleague, Dwayne. I can hear the chants already. Gilbert, how we doing, brother? All right, all right. How you doing, Mark? Man, God, I'm glad to be back here in Rage TV Arena again. I tell you what, this is the, the only the action that MCW can bring you from the great city of Baltimore, Maryland, all over the world via the internet. And there is... Ryan McBride, the people's champion. The one and only, baby, right there, Ryan McBride. Of course, Ryan McBride, one of the most popular upcoming stars in the world of professional wrestling. Going to take on Josh Perkins here in this contest, the opening bout of MCW Rage TV. Wow, man, what a defeat it would be if Josh Perkins could get this win, huh? Of course, Josh Perkins, a newcomer to Maryland Championship Wrestling. What better way to make a name for yourself than taking out someone like Ryan McBride? And Josh Perkins wants, wants Ryan McBride to let go. And Ryan McBride walks away, showing you the content of his character. Yeah, the old clean break. Nothing like it. Now, of course, Ryan McBride, every, every time he comes to the ring, he's got to be thinking about that bounty that's on his head, Dwayne. I'll tell you what, man. I would not want that hanging over me. Somebody's going to want to collect it, and there is some mean, mean, nasty people here in MCW. And it looks like Ryan McBride's had about enough, reaching over the top rope with a series of right hands on Perkins. Well, Perkins trying to take that cheap move there and slap him in the face on the break instead of giving him a clean break like Ryan did. Now, hey, look, look in Ryan's eyes. I mean, there is a man with a lot on his mind. And a kick to the gut. And a series of forearms to the back of McBride. Perkins taking the to him now. And a big splash in the corner. McBride is now off of his feet. Perkins going to try and capitalize. Only a one count. And McBride able to kick out. Perkins using that middle rope to choke out Ryan McBride. Doing a pretty good job at it, too. Absolutely. Now, you know, Dwayne, there's a lot of people in MCW, especially in the locker room and in the back, that are going to want to collect on that $5,000 bounty on the head of McBride. Of course, people like the Bruiser. Bruiser we saw recently with the uh, with the wanted poster in his hand. And i got to tell you, if someone like him uh, you know, has a sight set on you, I'd be afraid. I'll tell you, Mark, I don't know how much you know about the Bruiser, but I know a lot about the Bruiser his whole career. And that is possibly the nastiest man ever to come out of Maryland Championship Wrestling. Oh, and a series of killer clotheslines on the part of Ryan McBride. I think Josh Perkins may have taken off a little more than he can handle, but wait, just like that, <laughs> the momentum changes in Perkins with a little bit of offense of his own. Hey, you gotta give it to the guy, man. He's really taking it to McBride. I don't know about ah, this here. It's a little bit of uh, uh, showboating here on the part of a newcomer. I'd call it more like cockiness myself. Personally, I think you need to have proper ring attire before you can start being cocky. I'm just Isn't saying. Isn't that the truth? Look at him. He looks like a hobo off the street. And Perkins against the ropes. McBride against the ropes and a <laughs> clothesline. That'll knock Perkins into next week. Ryan McBride, obviously the more experienced of the two. Looks like he's uh -oh. going for it here. This could be it. Lights out. You heard him say it. He's going to go for the pin. One, two, three. And there you got it, man. It's all over with after that. Ryan McBride wins another one. And that's it. Ryan McBride, of course, a former MCW heavyweight champion, a former Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup winner. He's one of the biggest and brightest stars in MCW. And and he collects a victory here on Rage TV. Whoa, whoa, Perkins. whoa, Hold Mark, on a what's this? Hold on a second, there's Drawlix and, and, and Na Napalm Bomb. Man, they're beating, ah, oh, I know what this is. It's bounty uh -oh. time, baby. Uh -oh. Somebody go collect some money. And there it is, there. Yeah. <laughs> I knew Drawlix would be the one coming out. Well, hold on a second, there's Nui Tafiga, the Samoan Tsunami. And it's just like that, the, <laughs> the, the ring empties out in a hurry. Oh, look, there's the bounty sign. Uh-oh. <laughs> Napalm says another place, another time. Hey, put another hand in there, man, for the bounty. That's all I got to say. Add somebody else who wants the money. 
All right, let's go back and take a look, man, at what's going on here, Mark. All right, there we go with a big clothesline by Ryan McBride. Two of them, back to back, like they took his head off. And, of course, Ryan McBride's finisher. And from there, it's only one, two, three. That's all you can handle, baby. Ryan McBride wins once again. Ryan McBride, you have to be happy that Nui Tobiga came to your aid. What's going on there? Drops and napalm bomb. All I'm going to feel is when all these jokers run around thinking they just left the boundaries. Same, right? Matter of fact, I got a better idea. They want to come out, interfere in your celebration? How about me and you, oops? Me and you get a match. That works. Take a match against them next week. Let's do it. Yeah. That'll work. Make all Zalix next week? How about we give it a go in the ring, Oops? Yeah? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan McBride, New to Figa, to be tag team partners next week against Drawless and the MCW newcomer, Napalm. Maryland Championship Wrestling wants to thank you, all of you, for your support. How? We are opening our doors and granting free admission on Thursday, May 19th at the Wild Duck Cafe in Middle River, Maryland. MCW proudly presents Insomnia, featuring the non-stop MCW action you've become accustomed to in 2011, plus an MCW beach party. And remember, MCW fans, all of this is absolutely free. You'll see the MCW return of the international superstar, Sammy Callahan, as he locks horns with the American Psycho's apprentice and protege, Alexander James. The ringleader of the Dark Carnival, Oliver Grimsley, will be in action. The insanely popular Fed Up will face off against the devastating duo of Black Wall Street. Commissioner Jimmy Cicero has ordered a grudge match on May 19th. MCW Rage TV champion Ronnie Zuko with both Jesse K and Candy at his side teams up with the malicious bounty hunter The Bruiser to wage war with the massive Samoan tsunami Nui Tofiga and his partner, the electrifying Ryan McBride. Don't miss the MCW Tag Team Champions, the Holy Rollers, with mastermind J.P. Callahan as they take on MCW newcomers Hoss Haygood and Cowboy Casanova, country strong with the beautiful and extreme chastity in their corner. The most coveted prize in Maryland wrestling is on the line at Insomnia as MCW Heavyweight Champion the privileged Tyler Hilton with sidekick Zachary Shane and advisor Joe Hamilton attempt to preserve their coveted spot at the top of MCW. But that will be quite a test as Hilton is challenged by none other than the relentless monster known as Cobian. We look forward to seeing all of you at MCW Insomnia on Thursday, May 19th with a 7.30 bell time. For more details, please go to MarylandWrestling.com. MCW, we are Maryland Wrestling. Yeah. 
happen right now. Run away! They have a bombshell right now. This girl match up straps on you. Hey, hey, hey. You understand me, boy? Hey, you understand me, boy? Here we are, the Holy Rollers coming in now. Going up against Robbie Wayne and Draco. Well, can you believe that right there? Straps legal in this one. Once again, Mark Ray with the scoop. I'll tell you, Mark, this is crazy, man. These poor little guys are gonna get the heck beat out of them, man. Yeah, I don't think that Robbie Wayne and Draco actually uh, uh, signed up for this when they uh, signed up to do this match. Wait a minute, look, they're handing the belts to them. What is he saying to the belt? <laughs> oh my uh, God. With the Holy Rollers back turn. This match is underway. Referee calls for the bell. And uh, I think that was uh, a no, miscommunication. Don't turn your back, guys. Don't turn your back. Whatever you do, you got him now. That's not legal. Oh, wait a second now. Earl of the Pearl saying that's not legal. Hold I don't think this is... Uh, this is playing out the way. Uh -oh, they got him now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Guys, I think he just goofed up. A rookie mistake on the part of Robbie Wayne and Draco. Get close to Earl the Pearl and Rambling Rich. Give him an opportunity to get the uh, to get the uh, the belts there. And I don't think this is going to be pretty. Wayne, what do you think? Oh, my God, man. I've been hit with them belts before. Man, does that hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your MCW Tag Team Champions. Look at that conniving piece of garbage outside the ring here, J.P. Callahan. I'll tell you what, he's almost got me mad enough to come out of retirement. Well, I think that's uh, something for another day, perhaps. You may have heard it here first. J.P. Callahan might want to watch his back. Gilberg's on his trail. And Earl the Pearl calling for the end. This could be it right here. It looks like we're going to see the Holy Cross here. Oh, and that's it. There's that's game over. he can do. You got to give it to him, Mark. They tried. They really did. They man. did try, but there is again a reason that the Holy Rollers are the tag team champions. Even if it was at the age the of straps, of strap match, victorious the here on Race TV. Tag Team Champion, the Holy Scum, Roller. Makes me sick. Well, you know, C Fed and G Fed are going to have their hands hands uh, full here. Of course, they are the number one contenders for those belts right there, and they are in the heat of feud. I will say that. And maybe let me tell you, Sad Sad is going to put it on them too. Shut up. They make me sick, man. They used to be something. Hey now, how you mama them? I'm Hoss Haygood, I'm one part of Country Strong, newest tag team on the block here in MCW, and you watching the show that all good country people watch, Ray's TV. Hey, this is Bad Boy Barry Hardy, and if you're thinking about getting into the wrestling business and you want to be trained by one of the best and one of the craziest wrestlers that there is in the business today, you're looking at Gilbert's Wrestling Academy. That's right, baby. If you think you got what it takes to become a pro wrestler, manager, valet, and or referee, come on down to Gilbert's. Call us at 410-969-8077. That's in Severn, Maryland, baby. Gilbert's. Ah! What's up, all you MCW Booger Wolves? Allow me to introduce ourselves to you. 
G Star Hydraulics, the bomb napalm. We are Black Wall Street. Rock a bar, baby. That's right. Let me introduce myself to each and one of you MCW Bogle Wolves. I am the hottest, most explosive star in the MCW today. The napalm bomb. And I guarantee I'll drop the bomb on each and every competitor that steps in the ring with me. And we're going to lullaby your ass. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage TV. It is time for the main event of the evening. And there is your MCW Rage TV champion, Kobian. Wouldn't be Rage TV without the champ. Oh, I'll tell you that. What a champion that is. My God almighty. I don't, I don't see him losing the belt for quite some time, Mark. And of course, we saw this signed last week when Jesse K came out during my interview with Kobe and signed this match for the title with Ronnie Zuko, former, formerly Soda Pop Zuko. A little bit of a mean streak in him, and I don't know, that might come to his advantage in this matchup against the uh, current champ, Kobe, tonight. Ah, I'll be honest with you, I hope Kobe and hands him as you know what, and just whoops the living daylights out of him, because this guy really, really needs his lights knocked out. Yeah, Mark, and I think he's the man to do it, Joey. And I just want to point out something here. Notice Kobian is favoring that left leg. He's got a he's got a, a visible limp there. Of course, that's probably from the uh, the beating that he took from uh, on this very program from the Bruiser with that chair. Oh yeah, you know that. Come out, sneak attack behind, typical Bruiser style, hit and run, baby. Hit him, beat him up with the chair, and out the door he went. And of course, a wily veteran such as the man coming out right now, Ronnie Zuko, is obviously going to see that limp, already knows about that limp, and you know he's going to use that to his advantage in this main event matchup. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Plus, he's always got the distraction of, of course, the lovely Jesse K. Of course. And Jesse K, of course, responsible for getting this match signed. Say about her what you will, she did manage to get her new uh, her new friend, Ronnie Zuko, this title match. Well, taking advantage of the absence of the one beautiful, lovely Candy. Of course, it is right, Candy is not here tonight. You gotta think that there's something definitely going on there, and I definitely see something uh, down, I'm not psychic or anything, but I see something uh, something on the horizon developing between these two and Jesse K and uh, Candy there. Well, I'll tell you, Jesse K is a devious one. Where did she start? Who did she start with? The worst thing in MCW, J.P. Callan. Uh, J.P. Callan, again, that guy that from earlier this evening that you had no problem airing your disdain for. And you're right, she did start over there. And, of course, you've got our champion, our Rage TV champion, Kobian. Very, very, very large man going up against a brawler in one Ronnie Zuko. Ronnie Zuko trained on the streets. He loves to fight. Started on the streets of Baltimore fighting for money. He saw an opportunity to make money, got involved in MCW a number of years back, and never looked back. That's true, too. That's true. You know what? It really looks strange to see Ronnie here at ring, ringside without candy. It just looks really wrong. Well, of course, Ronnie Zuko used to be a fan favorite, formerly known as Ronnie Soda Pop Zuko, former tag team partner of. Cole Calloway, one of the most popular tag teams of 2010 and going into 2011. And of course, they had a falling out some time back. And he found this newfound attitude that he uh, has been showboating as of late here in the MCW locker room and, of course, at the offices back where you and I are. And frankly, uh, say what you will about him, he uses it to his advantage inside the ring. And of course, he's going to use it in this matchup right here. Just as I said before, you notice, Dwayne, he's going directly for that leg of Kobe. Oh, yeah. He ain't no dummy. Look at him making fun of him. Figures I'll psych him out a little bit there. Maybe get the big man mad, make a mistake. I'll get a hold of that leg. Ronnie Zuko's no dummy. He's been around here for probably 15 years in MCW. And they lock up in the center of the ring, and Kobe uses his strength to push Ronnie Zuko into the far corner. And you can hear the fans. They love this guy, Kobe. The monster known as Kobe and a fan favorite here in MCW. Nothing but bright stars in his future. 
Ronnie Zuko has a problem with uh, has a problem with the uh, the referee here, and he uses the power again. And that's twice now. Zuko has been introduced to the mat, and Kobian says. Hold on, Ronnie Zuko telling the referee here that Kobe and grabbed his hair. I, I didn't see anything from my vantage point, Dwayne. Ronnie don't even have no hair. How are you going to grab that? It's, what, a quarter inch long? And the referee saying they didn't see anything. I have to side with the fans here in the MCW Rage TV arena who say they didn't say anything or see anything. Excuse of course, me. Of course, you got the big mouth Jesse K outside running her mouth. Gilbert, do you hear the fans here? Kobe and Chant. That's it, baby. Kobe and Chant starting up nice and loud. Ronnie Zuko, bring that right down. Let him know exactly what he thinks of him. Ooh, big man outside the ring there don't like it, does he? No, he doesn't. MCW's number one fan, it would seem. And Kobe in against the ropes. And a running shoulder block, and he takes down Zuko, followed by a clothesline. Oh, oh, he no, there it is. the leg and goes down, and that hamstring has now got to be rallying ah. in pain. And it does not take long for the veteran, Ronnie Zuko, to capitalize on that. Ah, oh, look at him, man, I tell you. Kobian, you got to get back up, bro. He's going to beat you to death. Kobian in pain. Zuko goes right to work on that leg. Folks, you take your opponent off of his feet, doesn't matter how much bigger than you he is. If you take him off his feet, you take 50% of his arsenal away from him. And that's a big problem if you want to win a match. A big problem. A big problem. Especially against the likes of Arani Zuko. You're not gonna win, you're not gonna win a match against him 50%. The knee hyperextended, his hamstring being pulled. Again, folks, an injury he came into this matchup in with at the hands of the bruiser. Ronnie Zuko taking full advantage of it right now in this matchup thus far. I don't know, I, I got a bad feeling about this. I think the champ is in trouble, Gilbert. Uh, he's in trouble right now, but don't count him out at all. Don't count him out at all. We're talking Kobe. He's been the champion how long now? You're right, he has been the champion for quite some time. He is a fighting champion. Unlike many people we've seen over the years, he'll accept a match anytime, any place. And again, he goes down from a drop kick from Zuko, who's going for the cover. Only a two count. And Jesse K still at ringside. Step right up. Come one, come all. Maryland Championship Wrestling, the Dark Carnival has arrived. But unlike any other carnival that's come to your town, we're not here for the weekend. We're here to take over. We're here to make a big impact. Allow me to introduce my own personal freak show I brought with me. The Faceless Jester Hocus. <laughs> my living dead zombie kindred. And me, the Circus Barker, the New Nightmare, Oliver Grimsley. Maryland Championship Wrestling, the freaks have arrived. <laughs> Hi, this is Candy, and you're watching MCW's Rage TV. Yo son. Yo, son, Fed Up is in the house once in again. House. You know what I'm saying, my boy G-Fed? My man C-Fizzle. Yo, you know what I want to talk about right now? That, if you're getting tired of sitting in the audience and you want to jump in the ring, come to the place where the pros train. Gilberg's Pro Wrestling Academy, son. son. You know what I'm saying? Give my man Gilberg a call. 410-969-8077. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yay, son. I'm Ronnie Zuko, and you're watching Rage TV. <sighs> On July 30th, 2011, history will repeat itself. You see, back in 2007, this American Psycho was your Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup winner. <laughs> and you better believe 
on July 30th, 2011. I'm coming to win it. Congratulations. This is your MCW Heavyweight Champion, Tyler Hilton, and you're watching Rage TV. I am J.P. Callahan, representing the MCW Tag Team Champions, the Holy Rollers, Ramblin' Rich and Earl the Pearl. And you're watching Rage TV. Fans, I'm being told that we had to go to commercial break, but we're back. And of course, you can see you didn't miss much. Ronnie Zuko still working on that already injured leg of the champion, Kobian. I don't think this looks good. No, I'm starting to agree with you now, Mark. I said no, by, no way they're going to take it, but Ronnie's got him beat up pretty bad, man. That leg is tore apart now. Folks, I don't think last week when the champ agreed to this match, he thought he would be in less than 100% physical condition as he is right now, and he's at very dangerously close to losing the Rage TV Championship in this contest. Yeah, but the crowd's starting to get behind him. That does, that does a lot for a wrestler, man. I'm telling you, Mark. It does a lot. Look, what I tell you? Right there, power bomb. Right there. I'm sorry. Power slam. Got so excited, I got messed up. And a move of desperation, a power slam by the champ on Ronnie Zuko. But as you can see, the champion is not on his feet either. That might have taken the little bit of gas that he had in his tank and used it all up right there. Yeah, but with the fans chanting your name, man, it, it does something to you. It just brings something out of the inside of you. It makes you want to fight. And both men to their feet and a clothesline by Kobe and followed by an elbow to the face. And a flying shoulder off of that. Look at this now. There he goes. Now there's Kobe and we all know right there, Mark. And of course, Ronnie got him off. Ronnie Zuko. Oh! <laughs> That's got to be it. Kobe's calling for the end. <laughs> Somehow, some way, a Rage TV champion was able to reach deep down inside and, and pull something up. He's calling for the Kobe and driver. This could be it for Ronnie Zuko. Oh, there it is, baby. Here it comes. Right? Uh oh. Come on. Come on, Kobe. Come on, Kobe. Oh, oh and then. Wait, oh, I mean, Jess has got his leg. She's got it. Unbelievable, folks. You just saw it there. Jesse K with the leg of Kobe, and he's unable to kick out. And just like that, we no have a new way. Rage TV champion. I, I don't even know what to say, Gilbert. This is crazy, man. It, oh, man, I told you. J.P. Callahan has a lot to do with this, man. I'll tell you what, that guy needs his butt kicked. Your winner she held on to his leg. MCW Rage TV Champion, Ronnie Zuko! MCW, we are Maryland Wrestling.